Hey, I'm Danielle Robay, and we are hanging out at Room 72. In this year's installation, four millennial entrepreneurs and social activists and one headlining speaker are all going to tell their stories in the areas of entertainment, business, media, and technology. What inspired them to create change, and how are they balancing profit versus purpose? Room 72, a series of events that encourages young entrepreneurs to put purpose and doing good at the very core of their business strategies. Change Creator is, a, a, I like to say, a non-traditional educational media platform, and the whole objective is to give the tools to these young, passionate entrepreneurs who are interested in really doing something meaningful, and they need that mentorship. Eating with Max, it was a platform that was created to connect people with food, and over time it's grown into educating people how to live more mindfully, to be more aware of how they consume. My name is Todd Belcour, and my business is Social Change and also Solve. For Social Change, I'm the executive director, and for Solve, I'm the founding partner. And our business is Dare to Address Poverty and Hopelessness through technology, culture, and advocacy. My company is called Charity Charge. It's a public benefit corporation, and we created the only credit card that allows you to donate your cash back automatically to any nonprofit of your choice. Swizzle is an alternative plastic straw company. This is a global movement that we're attacking with Swizzle. We have a consumer carrying case that allows individuals to carry around two stainless steel straws and one cleaning brush in the eco sheet carrying case. And then additionally, we have a B2B offering where we could sell paper, uh, stainless steel, and PLA, which is a form of eco-plastic made of cornstarch and or sugar cane. We sell those to restaurants, hospitality groups, entertainment venues, etc. So we are taking on uh, all things plastic straws, and we're excited to do so. I think Room 72 is a really important event for entrepreneurs because they need the opportunity to connect and get insights and mentorship from people. Take the step. Believe in each step that you take because you're eventually going to get to that point. It's so easy for us to look over there and, and judge someone else's chapter 20 to our chapter 1. Nobody can execute your idea like you can, and they don't have the specific vision that you have. Room 72 is an extremely important event for entrepreneurs, but sometimes it can be very taxing to be an entrepreneur. You feel like you're alone, you're isolated, but now you're, you're really embedding yourself in a community of people who are doing incredible work. It may not be the same exact lane, but it's the same struggle. Now that I've been able to get Charity Charge off the ground and have some success, it's really important for me to be able to give back, and hopefully people can learn from some of my high highs and low lows, and that'll further fuel their journey as an entrepreneur. If you're ever going to sell anything, I think that you have to understand the psychology of who you're selling to. If your copy and what you tell them does not uh, feed into the narrative that's in their mind, it's just not going to resonate with them. Once you get into that saddle of starting a business or going out and branching out on your own, it's lonely sometimes. But the key is you don't have to do it by yourself. It seems like what you're circling around is a little bit more about how do you determine whether to take that leap of faith. It makes it easier to get up every day when you're doing something that is meaningful to you. Align what you do with your values. And if this is something that is really keeping you up at night, putting you in a position where you feel compelled to pose in front of a room full of strangers, it's probably in your heart well enough to really investigate and invest more time into and dig deeper. So people need to find their passion, find their purpose, and hopefully in this venue, being surrounded by entrepreneurs, you'll be inspired to do more than you would have ever thought otherwise and recognize you have what it takes to change the world as well. I'm just going to share my story. I have a unique background, played eight years in the NFL, and my entire life has been devoted to athletics. And I took a massive pivot into business investing and now owning and operating uh, an eco-friendly company. So it's about transition, it's about grit, it's about determination, it's about redefining yourself and finding meaning throughout life um, and not being defi defined by what you used to do, but always forward looking. So I'm excited to share that. We thought really hard about what's the solution and where's the opportunity to not only do good, but also do well. You can get through any how if you, if you really know your why. The advice I would give young entrepreneurs is let money be the last thing on your list and let love and passion and purpose be the first thing. Don't listen to the naysayers. Take that as fuel and let that push you and drive you forward. Embrace reality as much as possible. Really focus on the facts and what's true. Play for something bigger than yourself. You know, bringing like-minded individuals together in a positive environment is always uh, a win in my book. And I truly believe that every business has the opportunity to make a positive difference 
And thank you also to Industry TV for partnering with us on this special event.